Okay, gang, we're into February now. I'm gonna go ahead and change my prop out and put my jet back on. First thing that I have to do is take the splash guard off that I uh, put on when I had the prop on. So when I put a reverse, I don't shoot a ton of water up over the top of my transom. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Take out these four bolts on each side. We'll get that done. Okay guys, like last time, we gotta start by taking off this cowling. Okay, then we'll have to take off our side pieces like last time. So we can get to that bolt or the nut, remember, for the shifting lever. There is a little screw you gotta take out. Make sure you don't lose these washes off here. Now you wanna tilt him up enough where you can slide that whole thing out, the whole unit out of there. Okay, leave one bolt in there. Leave it in thread, make it where it's easy, where you can back it out with your fingers to hold this thing. Oh, yeah. Taking it the rest of the way out. <clears throat> you don't want to drop it. You don't want to drop it and crack it on the concrete. You don't want to drop it on your tub. Okay. Just like that. Okay. There's your extra one. These four bolts in here, you have two different sizes. Short ones seem like they'd obviously go in here, long ones up here. Okay. Oh. 
now let's dab this thing back up in here this one's a little easier than the, the last one Tighten up. And there you go. You got that bolted on there. We got to put all the guts in. We'll worry about that later. Got other things to do right now. Adjust this thing if you need to on yours. I do online. I gotta adjust it one notch from number one to number two. Now I need to take these cables off of here and here, run them out little keeper here and we got to take this little keeper off here remember get that cable loose get that up out of there okay you don't need you're not going to need that keeper for the jet cable because it hooked directly up inside of here okay you got to zip tie that up there so it won't flop around on you and you won't be able to start it sometimes okay you want to zip tie this up like this that'll hold that baby up there so it won't flop around okay got a couple bolts back in there on this Okay, I'm gonna take this plate off the bottom here again. Take this little keeper off, at least one side, get it out, pull that keeper out of there, get it off. Okay, there's that cable. This cable 
I think we'll go underneath here. And then right up in here like this. I'm gonna take that side off. Okay, got that on, right there. <clears throat> now I'll get this in here. Get in here like this. Okay, make sure it shifts all right on the bucket. Looks good. I'm gonna put this piece back on. I'm going to be careful in here because I pinched a wire once. Pretty the short. And a pain in the ass trying to figure out what the problem was. I eventually did get it. Basically, changing this thing from a prop back to a jet is considerably faster and easier than going the other way around. So you can keep that in mind. this back up before it won't start and I can't figure out why. Now we can put our cowling back on. Now we still gotta put our guts in our jet. Take a little bit and we have to raise this power lift back up. Then we have to put our plate back on the bottom here. So, okay, you wanna find your keeper and the sleeve. Right 
because of the washers that went in the front. I'm going to put a new speaker washer on there. This one's been bent back and forth so many times. for right in that groove like so you can see that goes in there now your nut washers and nut back washers on there keeper washer my nut Just like that. Yeah. I think you're just enough to bend that down. Right there. You don't want to overly tighten it. You don't want to bend those ears down to keep it. There we go, just like that. Okay, you put, now your aluminum boot won't have these, but the neoprene boot that I got, got these little aluminum sleeves or washers. You put those on your nuts, your C6 nuts. You want to tighten them up evenly. You don't want to tighten one side all the way and then try to go on the other side. Put a bind in it. I gotta loosen these things up. This here beats the hell out of cranking this all thread down, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Little hydraulic jack under there. Sometimes you gotta shake it around and wiggle it, kind of binds. I throw a WD-40 in here to help it slide since it's aluminum on aluminum. And just crank this baby back up there where it was. Check it up the rest of the way.
Now, let's put the cavitation plate back on here. Okay, gang, here we go. Took about an hour and a half. Take a little longer when you're putting the prop back on. The jet goes on pretty easy. About an hour and a half, it's better good. 